The main air angle seat valve allows air to travel through the venturi to create a low pressure area in the vessel. Atmospheric pressure pushes material into the vessel through the hose connected to the intake camlock fitting. The main air vacuum angle seat valve is activated by the control solenoids in the main control panel. The discharge air angle seat valve allows air to energize the discharge air line to evacuate the tank of your picked up materials. The valve is operated via the intake limit switch and the control circuit by ensuring that the intake gate is closed before discharge air is allowed to turn on. This prevents any pressure from reaching the operator's hose. If the unit fails to discharge when on discharge mode, check the intake gate limit switch for correct operation. When an IVAC unit is in discharge mode, electric power energizes the intake gate limit switch. When the intake gate is closed and therefore closed the intake gate limit switch circuit, energizing solenoid number 5 turning on air into the pilot line leading to the discharge air angle seat valve. The pilot pressure in turn opens the discharge air angle seat valve, allowing air to flow into the vessel by going through the discharge air regulator and the two 1 inch ball valves that control the discharge air pressure and volume. This procedure ensures that the intake line will not receive any pressure to the operator's pickup line. The angle seat valve is a pilot operated pneumatic solenoid. When the pilot line is charged and it turns on the larger discharge angle seat valve, the pilot airline should be checked for wear and ensure that the connections are tight and there are no leaks.